that's mine. Hey, diggy, diggy, diggy. Ah, fuck, baby, little. One of my subscribers who's been with me for um, her husband contacted me for I think three years. She's a she, they're a family of five, so I think a mom of three, and she wakes up every other morning and does yoga on the kitchen floor with me. It's her birthday, and I'm gonna call her. She just came back from the spa. Her husband told me, and I'll call her to surprise her. All right, calling Christina. Let's see. Hello, may I speak with Christina? Who is this? Uh, this is Ali. Oh, hold on one second. Okay. Hello. Hello, is this Christina? Yes. Namaste, beautiful yogi. Happy birthday. This is Ali coming oh, over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, serious. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh. How are you doing today? I I hope you're having a great birthday. Yes. <laughs> I think of you every day. Oh. You, you help me so much. And when you got pregnant, I announced it to my family. Oh. You've done so much for me. I just want to thank you. And so many other people, too. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I've been doing yoga for almost, I don't know, 20 years. And, and you take me to that place every time. Oh. And, and, please don't stop. You mean so much to all of us. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for your call. <laughs> I hope you're having a really, really great day. We all help each um, other. I just want to really, really, from the deepest part of my heart, thank you for what you've done for me. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm <clears throat> very thankful for anybody I have connected with uh, virtually. It's, it's been it's been an opportunity also for me to, uh, you know, to express what I want to express because in the studio you're more limited to where this has been for me a way to just do what exactly I want to do. We'll keep it up. <laughs> and best of luck to you. All right, best of luck to you too. Okay. Have a great Namaste. birthday. Namaste. Thank you. All right. Thursday morning, I booked a job, editing job over at my old digs. Um, so I'm on my way to work. The traffic's gotten pretty bad in LA in the last few years, so that's pretty fun. And uh, programs like Waze actually has revealed many of the secret uh, routes um, that no one knew before. So now everything, every single route trying to get into the Hollywood area is actually pretty packed. I've been having so many thoughts about spirituality and birth, and uh, some of them are, I, I kind of think they're important to record before I move on. Uh, but well, I was discussing uh, birth with some other mothers and pain and all of that and my take on pain is that sometimes intense pain not everybody is meant to have the same experience but sometimes intense pain is it's part of your growth it's part of your enlightenment and I don't consider my enlightenment like the way nirvana or one, t one time deal I consider it this evolution of the soul so I, sometimes pain is what springs you forward and birth is such an incredible experience of shedding the, the ego and um, just it's an out of body experience because think about it you're bringing a soul you created a physical body in which a soul will come a, a, a soul from another dimension will come into this body so you in a way are crossing dimensions the way death is when you're giving birth you're crossing dimensions and it felt like it when I gave birth the following few weeks I didn't want to come back I was floating in between worlds and it was such a beautiful experience because I felt so connected to something divine so um, that's kind of the short of it. It's birth is basically it's a process in which you just in a way leave your body in order to bring another soul from another dimension into this dense 
area, dance, dance world. And that's why it's so intense. It's so intense. It's incredible. It's, I don't think it's, it's meant to be easy or painless. But if you do have a painless experience, that's something you need. Uh, and if you have a painful experience, that's something you need. It's just literally whatever you get, you have to find a way to see the reason for it. And it's always a deep, profound reason. That's such a period in which we need spiritual support because the social unit is destroyed. There is no sages, wise women in our uh, communities. Um, we push out the elderly and we don't have the guidance of the elderly because they're pushed out and we're going through this intense experience alone. So spiritual guidance in, is always needed, maybe even a postnatal meditations or just talks or just mind postnatal guidance and mindfulness because that's one of the most intense periods and because of the hormones you have the capacity to make it profound and a learning experience for yourself so i'm excited i'm excited because my work is changing and i'm always gonna be do my interval yoga and strong classes but also there is gonna be a lot of things about motherhood and even aging and things that are subjects that we all will have to go through so this is where i'm working currently um, that right there used to be E Entertainment, and I was over there at Attack and Show for five years, and this was spelling television. I started here 17 years ago. This area right here, there was a bunch of like kind of blue uh, structures that I dreamt of, actually. And I dreamt of this exact view right here, looking down these two roads right here, before I even came for my job interview at spelling television. Uh, and so when I look down this way, I'm like, oh, that's my dream right there. It was a little more like trippy in the dream, but this is like the dream right here except uh, the new owners just ripped down all the, um, the old structures. So it was like these kind of sculptures, and so those are gone. And then this is the pond here where when the new owners came in, they actually pulled everything out of here, bleached everything, but now everything's back again. So now we have beautiful lotus flowers growing in the pond. And it was kind of sad because there was no turtles or anything or any life, and now I see that the turtles are back. So that's actually pretty nice to see the turtles and all the beautiful lotus flowers growing. Sophie's waiting for a walk. I've been speaking Bulgarian to Lodi only and now it's hard for me to say anything in English. <laughs> hey mama. Hey my love. Oh yes. Hey Sophie, gentle mama, gentle. Gentle. And we're all waiting for daddy to come home so we can go for a walk. So Johnny came home and she's overly excited. Give her kisses. What is this, lady? Oh my god, this is the house that leaves sapotis for us. Oh, they're soft. The, the sapoti fairy. Let's do some sapoti. So you guys, that's a tip for the new any new moms. If you have poopy stains on your uh, onesies, you just dry them in the sun, and it, it's all gone. It's the, the clean, and we're running out of onesies. She's grown out of look how look how tight those are on her. They're short, I mean. Um, but we had a good day today. We did laundry, and I had a little meltdown, and uh, I did yoga, and <laughs> it was good. Meltdown was, um, it's just the no support system when you're postpartum, you're just going, in our society, you go through this all on your own, you don't have like this like tribal circle of, you know, a support system, basically everything has to be done on your own. But anyways, now it's all good, <laughs> I filtered through everything.
don't you call my name Caleb my your ghost is gone to wear them rattling chains when I go to sleep at night don't you call my name 